Hi everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at web forms or ASP.NET web forms inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. So ASP.NET web forms lets you build dynamic websites using drag and drop event-driven model that will be familiar to desktop application developers. Web forms enables you to think of your forms as a unit, not a separate client and server pieces. A design surface and hundreds of controls and components lets you rapidly build UI-driven sites with data assets. So ASP.NET web forms bring to web application the model of writing event handlers for events that occur in the user interface. Web forms abstract this model so that the underlying mechanism of capturing events on the client, transmitting it to the server, and calling the appropriate method is all, automa is all automatic and invisible to you. So we look also look at its simplicity in terms of data integration. So web forms provides many options for storing, retrieving and displaying data. You can use data bound controls to automate the presentation or input of data in web, web page UI elements such as tables, text boxes and drop down lists. So let's get started then. So to, to be able to start with your, with your first web forms application, you have, you have to obviously have a, a, the latest version of Visual Studio, at least the community version. So once you've got that bit sorted out, yeah, open it. So you get on your once you open the Visual Studio, you get this page. Click on the create new project. So here, of course, you'll be presented with a new dialog of create a new project. Yeah, of creating a new project. So here we've got a bunch of project templates. So we, we scroll down. So we look for ASP.NET web applications that is in a .NET framework. So if you look at it here, there's another one, ASP.NET, ASP.NET web applications .NET framework. And once you scroll down, there's also another one. So the second bit, yeah, that's the one we need. So if you look at it, the project templates for creating ASP.NET applications. You can create ASP.NET web forms. So this is the one that we're actually looking for. So once we select it, we click on the next. And here you can actually configure your project details, like the project name, the solution names, and pro pro probably the location of the project as well. So once that bit is sorted out, obviously you can also select the, the .NET framework version that you want to use. So as you can see, there are a bunch of them. So you can select the one that is actually applicable to your targeted system. So once that bit is also sorted out, then you can click on the create. So once you click on the create, you, you come to the create a new ASP.NET web application dialog here. Here you've got a possibility of creating an empty project, a web forms project template, MVC, that's a model view controller project web API and single application project, right? So what we'll be selecting right now is the ASP.NET web application in web forms. So we select this bit here and then we click on the create. So if we look at it here, we can configure for HTTPS and we can we can make it both web forms and, and MVC, however we want to present it. But in this case, we're just gonna leave it as web forms. So and then we're just gonna uncheck the configure for HTTPS as well, as it's not necessary for this video. But obviously you can leave it if you want to. So next bit is, of course, we can also add a, we can also create a project for a unit test, but we're just gonna leave that bit as well. So we click on the create, so as you can see here now, we've got the, the, the ASP.NET Web Forms web application template created now. But we, before we get into the the, um, the project, I'm just going to give you some brief 
um, explanation of the of the advantages of using a web forms a web form based web application so it supports an event model that preserves state over http which benefits line of code or line of business web application development so the web forms based application provides dozens of events that are supported in hundreds of server controls it uses a page controller pattern that adds functionality to individual pages for more information you can you can check on the msdn microsoft website it uses view state or server based forms which can make managing state information easier it works well for small team of web developers and designers who want to take advantage of the large number of components available for rapid application development in general it is less complex for application development because the components which is the page class controls and so on are tightly integrated and usually require less code than the mvc model so we we're just gonna get to it then into the code here so first of all we're just gonna open this file default.asp asps so this is your usual asps for um wind forms application so this is the link that actually contains the ui elements in terms of the, the controllers in html and css as well so on visual studio you can have a split view of both the design and then the code part of it so as you can see here we've got the design and the code so you can make changes in either of them and it will reflect on both sides so let's say the h1 asp.net which is this bit here so let's say if we add framework to it framework to it here so as you can see design view is out of sync with view click to synchronize so once we clicked on it as you can see here now is is it's actually synced with the with the with the view what with the view or the design so if we make changes if you look here if you look at this bit here if we make the changes here as you can see it's directly being reflected over this side so let's say as you can see it's actually fully cancelled or fully um, deleted so we can say first web forms web application twenty twenty uh, let's leave that a bit for the Panthers so as you can see it's very simple to get about it and if we look at the project so well, there's a content which contains the, the, the JavaScript files the CSS I mean which contains the I mean the, the CSS and there's a font which contains the fonts and then there's a script which contains the JavaScript yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here. So from here you can you can obviously build on your knowledge and and dig in further just to understand it more. So I've, I hope I've actually gotten you to the better starting point. Okay, so my apologies about the church bell because I'm actually making a video outside. Yeah, so let's get to it then. So at this at this point here, I'm just gonna run it for you all to have a look at how it comes up. Oh, you, you can you can just do it all by yourself. So there's no point actually running. You can run it by actually pressing the F5 or pressing this key. So I will leave it here. So I hope this helped you. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Stay blessed, stay in peace and catch up on the next video.